before we begin, let's discuss the definition of populism. Populism is a political tactic used to gain and maintain political power in a multi-class political environment relying on mass support. Populism in Latin America was a response to political, economic, and social conditions from the Great Depression. Populism was founded on a charismatic leader who created a multi-class political alliance that represented the significant economic and social changes which had occurred in many Latin American nations because of industrialization, the growth of a prosperous and educated middle class, and a rapidly organizing working class. It was the new form of nationalism and a new sense of patriotism. It promised economic independence from foreign control and a better life for the people. Populist regimes also promised improvements in social welfare, health care, education, wage increases, and industrialization and nationalization of resources and public works. All these promises were for the better. For example, higher wages ended strikes and increased productivity. Thus, the income of the Argentine families grew, which allowed them to purchase food, clothes, and better housing, which put profits in the pockets of businessmen and taxes in government coffers. The pattern was to provide a stimulus to the economy that often proved unstable, and after a few years of rapid growth, revenues toppled and the government would be dismembered. Populist leaders had to pick sides in order to stay in power, support from military and economic elites, or support from groups and parties. Most generally chose military and economic elites. This resulted in violent repression of political opponents and the suppression of the civil regime. While the populist era ended, the era of military dictatorship had begun. Populism became unstable because it relied on leaders' popularity. They were consumed by a form of military dictatorship. The military dictatorship was determined to eliminate the threat of communist revolution and create capitalist industrial economies. These juntas opened doors to foreign corporations and investment. They rolled back wages and reduced social welfare programs. Regimes were oppressive and violent, and many were tormented, arrested, and tortured. By 1980, democracy took control of Argentina. The era of military dictatorship was over. Latin America was home to many populist leaders. This includes Lazaro Cardenas of Mexico, Jose Maria Velasco of Ecuador, Getulio Vargas of Brazil, and Juan Perón of Argentina. Juan Domingo Perón, the man behind the Perón era, was an Argentine general and diplomat who was elected to serve as president of Argentina on three occasions. An extraordinarily skilled politician he had millions of supporters, even during his years of exile. His policies were mostly populist, intended to favor the working class, who embraced him and made him, without question, the most influential Argentine politician of the 20th century.